Okay, you're given a region created by the graphs of those functions and asked to find the volume of the uh, solid that is generated if you revolve that region about the line x equals 7. I was drawing a real quick sketch. I know that y equals x cubed goes like this. y equals 8 would be up here somewhere. And this point right here, when y is 8, x is the cube root of 8. So this is the point 2, 8. And we've got an axis of revolution out here at x equals 7. And we're supposed to use cylindrical shell. So draw a typical shell right here. And here's what the formula looks like. When you're using cylindrical shells, it's 2 pi times the definite integral. In this case, from 0 to 2, we're going... For we're integrating along the x-axis from 0 to this 2 right here. And this, no, this expression right here is the average radius, which is the, an expression for the distance from the axis of revolution to the center of the shell. So that's an average radius right there for each shell. Now realize that as we go from 0 to 2, we could call this an x sub i. So an expression for the length of that blue line is the x-coordinate at the right, which is always 7, minus the x-coordinate at the left, which is this x sub i. That's what this is right here, the average radius. And then, again, for the shell method, we multiply by the height of the shell. So... That's the length of this red line right here, which is the y-coordinate at the top minus, I, I'm sorry, yeah, minus the y-coordinate at the bottom, which is the point x comma x cubed. So that's what this is right here, the height of the shell. Okay, and you can multiply these two binomials together. Take the antiderivative for each term, and this is kind of what you get. And here's f of 2 minus f of 0 multiplied by 2 pi. Uh, if you actually evaluate this from uh, 0 to 2 uh, and multiply by 2 pi, there's your exact answer. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.